Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, what is up? The King of Lightning is here today bringing you guys and gals a, I suppose, Shanks time control ability debunking video or a theory debunk video, something like that. I don't know. I'll figure out the title later, whatever. But it's not important right now. What's important right now is people to this day keep on asking moi, the King of Lightning, about Shanks' powers to control time. Now, I guess a lot of folks haven't played Pi Warriors 3, but in this game, it was revealed, like last year around March, that in this game, Shanks would have two unique attacks. Number one, Red Lightning. And number two, the ability to slow down time. So that's not really an attack, it's more like an ability, but whatever. So Red Lightning and being able to slow down time. Now, slowing down time was a big thing. Like, whoa, holy shit. Shanks can slow down time, my goodness. And so a lot of people were talking about this, and people were also correlating this with certain things done in the in-canon manga. Off the top of my head, there are three things that I'm aware of that Shanks maybe kind of, sort of-ish control time during these events. The first one is when he dodged Whitebeard's giant sake gourd when he threw it at Shanks. And Shanks was still sitting down. Like, it was kind of like he shifted position somehow, some way. Like, unless his glutes are on point, like muscular ass glutes, he somehow shifted position to dodge the gourd. That's number one. Number two is when he came out of nowhere to block Akainu's attack when Akainu was going to kill Kobe. Now, a part of me was like, God damn it, you should have killed Kobe. You should have killed Kobe. No one would have cared. But that being said, <laughs> that being said, when it comes to that, Shanks, he, you know, came out of nowhere, blocked the attack. And when you look at his main flagship, whatever it's called, it was a ways away. So people were saying how Shanks slowed down time to get to that position to block a Kainu's attack. Now, when it comes to those two, Honestly, I figure that Shanks actually may be a speed-type swordsman, kind of like Brook in a way. But even more so because he's Yonko status and he's Shanks. But I figure that Shanks is a very fast person. That's my take on that. So whether or not Shanks is actually slowing down time or not, mm, again, it's a maybe kind of sort of ish. Now, the last moment is a definite like, well, like we're reaching for the sun right now and beyond because this is when Shanks and Kaido had their meeting in the new world but Shanks was still able to get to Marine Ford in like stellar time now the thing with this is that we have no idea the details of that event that could have been a decoy on Shanks's part where he had a decoy set up for Kaido and he and he went to Marine Ford unabated Shanks was able to slow down time and like avoid Kaido in some way, shape, or form. Or like the clash between him and Kaido was very brief because he controlled time in some way, shape, or form. So again, that one, because the details are so obscure, we're not too sure about what happened there exactly. We have to throw it to the side, honestly. So when it comes to the video game, the video game is where people got this notion going back again like oh shit shanks can slow down time he can control time and so on and so forth however in this game what he's doing is not actually slowing down time per se what he's doing is something entirely different so what we're going to do here is that we're going to play a random game in the dream log not a big deal my shanks is at the maximum cap of 50. you can break that cap to level 100 you can however even if you go over the level limit it doesn't matter. It does not matter. And you'll see for yourself here because I love that, man. Saki! I love that. Love that. But the fact of the matter is that even if you go to level 100, he doesn't gain any new moves. Like, that doesn't change. Like, his combat repertoire does not suddenly expand when you go past level 50. It does not. He has the same movesets, the same thing. So, that being said, we're going to dive right into a game. Not a big deal here. And I'm going to show you what exactly is going on when it comes to his slowing down time ability. We're going to find some opponents to mess up here. And... Shanks is a cool character, by the way. In the game, he's really fun to use. I, I like him a lot. But either way. So we're going to fight against Monkey D. So right there is the red lighting feature. Pretty cool. 
Now, what you're going to see right here is Shank slowing down time. You see that? Let me do it again uh, one more time for you. So you guys can get a better idea of what's going on there. Right there, you see that? Boom. So right there, how everyone was in the air, they kind of slowed down for, for like a second. Luffy, chill, baby. Chill, Luffy. Mugga D. So, player info, you have the controls. And in the controls, he has this unique action. That's the R1 button. And the unique action for him is right here. Initiate observation hockey. Slow the flow of time for a bit. That is his slowing down time feature. He's not using Conqueror's hockey to like manipulate time and space. No, he's not doing that. But what we're seeing here is maybe possibly like a pinnacle ability of observation hockey. Where Shanks, he's not actually literally slowing down time itself. No. He, like, he's not pulling a Dio, no. All right, that'd be crazy, but no, he's not doing that. What he's doing instead is still pretty damn crazy. He is perceiving time slower because of observation hockey. And that does make a lot of sense because with that hockey, not only can you see into the future, but being able to perceive that moment at a much slower rate makes sense in a lot of ways because that is about perception. So Shanks is slowing down time because he's perceiving time slower. Not because he's actually literally doing it, but he's perceiving it slower. Right there. Slowing down, boom. And you can see it right there. That's his Conqueror's Hockey right there. Now, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to use his Kaizuna Rush. And his Kaizuna Rush is basically a enhanced state where his combos expand. So let's see if Shanks' Observation Hockey Time Slowdown Perception changes in his Kaizuna Rush state. So right here, so right now we're in Kaizuna Rush with Dark, and so we're gonna do the same thing. No one there. Okay, Garp, chill, chill, Garp. So as far as I can tell, so everyone still, so everyone still slows on at the same rate. If I could just get a good. Yeah, so everyone still slows down at the same rate. So basically, what I'm trying to get out here is that when it comes to this whole notion of slowing down time, in this game, even though it was announced last year that Shanks could quote-unquote slow down time, in reality, Shanks is perceiving time slower because of observation hockey. Those are two completely different things, okay? So maybe in the future of the actual can material, there may be someone that has such good observation hockey to where they're actually able to perceive time slower. Maybe Shanks does have this in the actual manga. Who knows? But he's not actually controlling space and time. He's not actually doing that. Keep in mind, that video games, they may have their unique attacks for characters, even characters that haven't been shown to do anything in the series or much in the series as of late, like Shanks. But at the end of the day, that's just a video game, all right? That's just a video game. It shouldn't be considered canon up until it's actually shown in the series. So I hope everyone understands that and I'm done. So King Laning, rate the video once again. Comment and subscribe as always. Share the video. Why not? Do whatever the fuck you want to do. Peace. Have a nice goddamned day.